providing an update on the Cardo adapter from Cardo. I made another video about I was disappointed in the Cardo version, which is this one. Uh, on their website at the time I purchased, they just had a picture of it like this from at an angle, I think. And not much of a description, and I wrongly assumed it came ready to fit into that spot by removing it from the uh, showy helmet. But when you flip it over, you'll see it just comes with this adhesive, which I really didn't want to put on my helmet. Uh, not that I have bad luck with adhesives, but, um, you know, it's be really hard to get removed, and I, I just didn't want to deal with it. And I did trade emails with Cardo, and um, they basically wrote me back saying they had designed this along with Showy and they had to respect their patent agreement. <laughs> basically could not use the prongs and had to use this approach. Um, part's not expensive, but I'm sending it back. I'm trying to get them to cover the shipping because I feel like they should have had a, a thorough description on their website. I'm probably being nitpicky on that and I'll probably strike out, but I wasn't pleased with it. So I ordered a 3D printed version, which you see here, um, just to compare. So... This is the uh, Cardo, and this is the 3D. And here, you flip it over, you're going to see that it has, you know, one, two, three, four, the four prongs. Let's get that there. It's got the four prongs that should snap into place, and then your Cardo unit would go in there. So I'm going to be looking at doing that and seeing if I can pop this in there, and then I've got to run the wires for the rest of the headset. So this is my new showy modular helmet, and I've already removed the cover that was there. So now I'm going to see if I can pop in the uh, new replacement with the 3D printer. Okay, just showing, I'm not very mechanically inclined in most projects for me, if they take the average person five minutes, sometimes take me 45 minutes. But um, I'm sorry I didn't record myself doing this, but um, this literally took me about 60 seconds or less. And you just pop in the 3D printed part and it's in there pretty well. And next I'm gonna put the uh, Cardo unit on there. And before I put the Cardo unit on, I thought I'd show you that and this looks darn good. I'm really glad that I did this. Um, I'm pleased with how that came out. So just showing now that I've put the Cardo magnetic, magnetic holder. It can fit right on there. And then all you'd have to do is... Slip your cardo unit on there. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I went that route. I think the clip would have worked fine to put in there, but this way it's a fairly cheap solution. This way it was a fairly cheap solution to put that on the helmet. I really like these cardo units. I wasn't real impressed with their customer service when I uh, traded messages with them. I know it's petty, and most people will think it's my fault, but. I was really not happy about that adapter where they only showed the front of it. And the way they described it, you know, would lead one to believe it, it, that adapter was gonna snap into place just like the stock. And that's not it at all. They wanted you to, they wanted you to use this adhesive that's hard to get off. And I thought it was really misleading. And I posted a video of that part. I've got the 3D printer part that already showed up. I'll try to make a video about it if I haven't already put one up by the time you see this. And, uh, you know, the part was $19.95 plus $6.95 shipping because it wasn't available anywhere but their website. And now, of course, just a week or so later, 
I could have gotten it free with my Revzilla membership or off Amazon. They're free shipping there and free returns. But I paid them $6.95 for shipping, and then I have to pay for shipping back. And I told them, I kind of feel like you all pay for this return shipping because your website is kind of misleading here. And, um, you know, I got the typical, well, that's not our policy. Our policy. Oh, you have a policy. For you Seinfeld fans. Oh, you have a policy. You know, it's like, I get so used to RevZilla and Amazon that have really exceptional customer service. And then uh, when you encounter, you know, people hiding behind policies, it's annoying. You know, they act all friendly with their email. We're here to help. Okay, well, you guys made them, you know, could, your website could have been better and described this. Why don't you cover the six bucks shipping back? No, we have a policy. We don't do that. Well, do you have a policy about accurate descriptions on your website? Or do you have a policy about putting incomplete information in only one photo of a product rather than the front and rear? Do you have a policy about that? Uh, they told me they would pass along the information. Sorry for your disappointment, but that's our policy. That certainly doesn't want to make you uh, want to return back. And I know there's people in the comments going to say, that's your policy. You knew it when you bought the product. Um, yeah, lesson learned. So I posted the video on that uh, part so others don't make the mistake if you wanted a better adapter. That 3D printed one is working fantastic. 